So what we're going to do here is uh, on this AR lower, we're going to put a grub screw in here that will allow us to put tension on the bottom of the rear uh, lug from the upper where it goes in there. Um, this will tighten up the fitment between the upper and lower receiver. So first we're going to put a flat spot right here then we're going to drill and tap the hole. So make this fairly easy. Uh, this is just going to go in there like that and this is going to be Cerakoted so I don't have to worry too much about the finish. Let's see here. We're going to move this camera while it's recording and show you guys a couple things that we've got to do here. If you look here, you'll see this gap here. We don't want to just clamp our vise on here because that leaves this area unclamped and this is where we're actually going to be machining over here. Uh, let's see if I just turn it around so make it a little bit easier to see. So what we've got to do is we've got to put something in here for that to clamp against. Um, so what we'll do Maybe we can do something like this. So I'll get around the embossments. We'll just open up our vise a long ways. A long ways. Because we're going to put in two. And make sure that we've got the right sides corresponding. I think that's good news there. Now we're going to move us back some. I may have to turn that around. Uh, being that this is, you know, the middle lathe combo, I have to, I got to be a little careful about the rear pole there for how much clearance I've got when my table's all the way back. So, we'll see here. I gotta consider, I'm gonna be drilling it also. So, look, yep, yeah, we're gonna have to turn it around. No big deal. I thought if we could do it like that, it'd be easier for you guys to see the work. But, too bad, so sad. I'm not going to get to see it. Well, not this view. So we'll move this here. And I'll tell you what I want to do. I'm going to turn this around. Get a little more Clearance, Clarence. Clarence, Clarence. Met him once. Old Clarence, Clarence. I'm kidding. Never heard of anyone named Clarence, Clarence. Probably not anyone named Clarence, Clarence. snugged up there snugged and we got good clearance clearance <laughs> we'll remove this and what we've got here is a 3 8 R8 with our 
end mill that we're going to use to come across there and give us a flat spot. And we need the flat spot so we can locate that and locate and drill the hole right where we need and want it. Tighten up our bit and our collet and we'll call it good. <laughs> God, that's a terrible joke, wasn't it? <laughs> that's pretty bad. Tighten up or call it and we'll call it good. Oh, man. I need to get a life. All right. Had to go get my wrench. My wrench, my wrench, my wrench. So we got rockets falling over. Okay. Reach over here and grab our big man wrench here. Tighten everything up. Tighten our collet up and call it good. <laughs> I'm going to keep on with that one. Jeez. It's terrible. Turn on our DRO. Turn on the DRO. All right. Now what I've got to do is I'm going to check with the drill bit that I'm going to use. Make sure that we've got enough clearance to make everything work right. What I may have to do is switch I'm gonna have to switch over to a either a regular Jacobs Chuck or my ER Chuck those are R8 collets like what I was saying earlier that's in there and these are ER a little bit different so probably have to go to that let me figure it out and I'll be right back so we're gonna lower that down Lock this. Okay. Lock it, lock it, lock it. Okay. Well, we're right in there. And we're going to machine it out. Everybody get your grandma mean. Getting seasick. Getting seasick. Okay. It. 
don't want that to pull my table that way. So there's that. We'll loosen it up. Move this guy back. Okay. Have a little burr there. We can get that. Break that right off. All right, now we have a good place that we can drill our hole. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with this smaller one and come in just a little bit you'll see what I'll what I'll do but what I have to do here is I've got to touch off I've got to figure out where my center point is so we'll turn that in mill where it's facing uh, with the y-axis and we're gonna zero all my data points out And come over here. I like to use feeler gauges for this so I can get right in there and know what I'm dealing with. I move the feeler gauges whenever it stops moving. I know, see, there, I'm close. So we're going to zero the Y out and the X. Now we'll move this around and I move my X back to the exact same place that it was the other one. It's going to go right back to zero. Bump it down just a little bit farther. There we go. So now we're going to figure this one out what this does is the computer the DRO will find the center of this for me all right so we're gonna do let's see here So we moved two tenths there, so that's not a big deal. This is what we were dealing with here. So we were just over a half inch from side to side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do half this part middle y axis. Now, so that now says 0.2823. So what I'm going to do is move this we're gonna move that out of there get the feeler gauge out of the way and now that's gonna clear I'm gonna move this over to the middle but we're gonna use the DRO to tell me where that center is so what this has done now is whenever I did that half this is how this I have to move this until it reads zero. So we're going to move it and make it read zero. Right, Seven thousandths left. Okay. 
Make it read zero. There we go. Now, with that being on zero, now this guy, it's lined up right in the middle. We are centered up on it. So, that's how we do that. And I'm going to machine that out some. So we have a good place for that uh, grub screw to go. this we're gonna drill our guide location and then I'm gonna have to drill through it on the drill press because I'm limited on my distance here spindle down or my chuck down I mean <laughs> so I just pushed that in there that's all right if I would stop running my mouth so much and worry about doing the job that wouldn't happen womp, womp.
blown off. And we can unlock this. And show you what we got. Not much really. <laughs> There we go. Now we're going to drill that all the way through and we will thread it. There we go. And let's drill it real fast. I don't want to change the belt. Way too fast to drill aluminum but I don't want to mess with changing out the belts and everything so I'm doing what I'm doing okay so there's that Got our hole in there. We'll deburr it and then we'll thread it and that'll let us push up on that and give some good positive pressure. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah. Works out pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna deburr that by hand. Well, with the drill. Yeah, that'll fit in there. Should be able to, maybe not. Maybe it's not gonna work. I'll have to get a different, different bit maybe. Or just actually do it by hand. Yeah, we'll try. Looking good. So our next steps are threading it. All right. And this is a 10 on 32 is what the threads are on this. I don't want to use any lubricant cutting fluid because it's going to be getting seracoded and even though I mean I clean it and all that stuff I mean the less if it doesn't have wool on it then there's no chance for it to have problems from oil leaking out leaching out of the 
pores of the metal. So. That's that. I believe we're all the way through, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I'm looking for the alcohol. I'm over it. Just gonna start boozing. Start drinking. That's gonna be the solve to all of my problems from now on. I'm just gonna booze it up. is a pretty good lubricant. In situations like this, uh, at the very least, it makes a great cooling media. That is much better. Yeah. So, if you need and this is for aluminum. If you need, you can use alcohol kind of as a cutting fluid slash coolant. And it won't leave your oil residue behind. We're nowhere near all the way through. <laughs> so... We'll go ahead and keep on tapping. Keep on tapping on. Run a little lubricant through there. We got 6% battery life on the camera. So we might, might lose you. When I come back, it's gonna be like magic. This is gonna be done. Because I'm not going to stop to go get another battery. Just so you can see me finish doing the same thing I'm doing. I know, I know. It's riveting. Watching this happen and listening to me run my mouth. I know. I'm just going to have to deprive you guys of a little bit of time of that. Alright, I'm bullshit. Just kidding. Okay, so we are through. This gives a new meaning to the term bottoming tap. Oh, that's not a bottoming tap. See, everything I, I, I work in contradictions for some reason. When I get to run in my mouth, it's like I say something and I contradict myself. I disprove my own comments. What's that about? battery life now we're threaded all the way through good deal okay so I lost my screw down here where all the oil is of course right I go through all that trouble to keep oil out of there and then 
I get oil all over my the screw. We can clean that off with the alcohol. Yay! Got it. Just sounded like Hickok. For some reason, that made me think of Hickok. The way I said that. Again, might just be the crack I'm smoking. Might just be. And everybody knows I'm kidding. I'm not smoking crack. Although you might think it. From the aimless ramblings that I produce. Try to find the Allen key to fit this. Allen key. Allen key. told you about meeting Alan Keys, didn't I? All right. Well, crap. Let me go over here and find a Alan Key. percent battery life. See in there? Let's thread that sucker in. We'll make sure it threads all the way up. And that will do its job. So there you go. That's how it's done. And uh, you get the idea. It just pushes on the bottom of that lug try and show you the finished product a little bit later on. Well, we've got 1% battery life. Let's just let it roll until it goes out. We'll just see what happens. Is it going to blow up? It's like a bomb. It's a ticking time bomb. Alrighty. Thank you, please drive through. Please play again. And we'll blast that again and be done.